This video will give you everything you need to know to create your own podcast in Adobe Audition. It's really, really simple to get started. When you load up Adobe Audition, you're going to want to start mixing things together to make your podcast sound good. Music, voice, and a ton more. So let's go into the multi-track view up here in the top left and get started. Podcast 001 will be the session name. Click OK. This is my first ever episode. I've got tracks available to me, and now I can start to make a good sound. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to have a host track here. I might also reserve track two for my guest in case I have guests on my show. And track three I'll use for music. There we go. Very, very simple. The rest of the tracks I don't need. I can delete them by right clicking, going into the track menu, and then delete selected track. I can also use Option, Command and Delete, or Alt, Control, Delete to get rid of tracks, just like so, so that we keep things nice and simple. Okay, on the host track, I can record my voice, and I'm going to do that now by arming this track to record. Hello! Yes, there's my voice. Perfect. Good levels, everything's ready to go, and I can eventually insert some music as well. So to get started, let's move this cursor right back to the start and begin my very first episode by hitting record. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and welcome to my Adobe Audition podcast tutorial. As you can see, I'm speaking, and in real time, my voice is appearing inside Adobe Audition. This is really exciting. I'm so glad you came along and decided to listen to my show. Then I hit the spacebar to stop recording, or simply the stop button here. Then I'll disable that for recording, and we can play back what we just recorded. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and welcome to my Adobe Audition podcast tutorial. It works really well, but I think we need music, so let's go and find some music. Oh, yes, I have some podcast music from our Music Radio Creative Production Library. I dragged and dropped it into the Files menu here, and I can drag and drop it onto the Music track right here. And if I need to, it's going to tell me to convert sample rates. It'll do all that automatically for me, and the music is inserted. Let's listen. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Okay, music a little bit loud and voice a bit quiet. We can fix that by selecting both tracks, right-clicking, and going for the Match Clip Loudness option. There it is. Click that there, click OK. All the clips will be adjusted in amplitude there so that they don't overpower each other. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and welcome to my... Okay, now I'm going to want to go ahead and make my voice sound a bit better. So on the host track, in the effects rack, I'm going to add in a couple of simple effects. Uh, I've actually got some presets that do all this for you. Um, but right now, I would simply go in and add a filter and EQ, maybe parametric equalizer. We'll roll off some of the low end, like so. And we'll add a little bit of high end boost using this high here, just to make things a bit crisper. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Okay, that's improved my voice a little bit. I want to make it louder and clearer, so amplitude and compression dynamics. And we'll add a compressor where I'm just going to push the ratio up to about 2. And let's uh, boost the gain as well by about 5 dB. Hello, this is Mike Russell. We'll turn it up a little bit more so it's louder than the music. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and welcome to my Adobe Audition podcast tutorial. That's actually sounding really good. The mix of music and voice is working really well. I might want to move this around and have it appear a little bit later so the music has a chance to play. So we'll just trim each end, and we can do this by making sure the time selection tool is selected. And then at the start, we just drag. Now make sure you're only selecting one track, otherwise both tracks move in time. So let's go ahead and grab this track, drag it in there, drag it in there, and then grab the title and move it along maybe 10 seconds in, we'll have the voice start. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and welcome to my Adobe Audition podcast tutorial. Now, about here, we probably want the music to fade out, so we'll delete the rest by selecting and then deleting not both bits, but just the end bit here. And then we can add a fade so this music slowly fades out. We can do the fade however we see appropriate. That's quite cool. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and welcome to my Adobe Audition podcast tutorial. Yeah, as you can see, I'm speaking, and in real time, my voice is appearing inside Adobe Audition. That's sounding really, really good. If we want to do a final bit of mastering, I suggest you go to the Mix track and maybe go to the uh, first slot available, go to Special, and I quite like in mastering the preset called Subtle Clarity. This will sound nice. 
Hello, this is Mike Russell, and welcome to my boost things up, but it also adds reverb. Dial that off. You don't want reverb on your podcast. Let's play it. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and welcome to my Adobe Audition podcast tutorial. Okay, this is sounding great. I've got a basic template with host presets, with music added in at the right volume. If I want to have exactly the same settings, the EQ and dynamics for my guest track, can just go to the mixer view here and drag and drop them over to the guest track as well that copies and pastes my effects perfectly so now as you can see they are on both tracks so if i've got a host and a guest it's going to sound absolutely brilliant now if i want to do this every time multiple time for episodes two three four one hundred i want to save this out as a template and then to do that i go to file and then i export this and i go session as template and we'll call this Mike Podcast, like so. Click OK to that. And then I can close everything down. And every time I want to start a podcast now, I just click the multi-track view. Let's call this podcast, trying to spell it correctly, 002. And then we'll look for the template. And look, there's Mike Podcast. Click OK. And every time now, boom, it takes me straight into the multi-track with my settings. I can just delete my original recording there, re-enable to record and say, hello there, this is Mike Russell, and I'm doing a second episode already of my podcast because I'm so excited of how quickly I can load a template in Adobe Audition and get started. And then all my presets have been added, so I don't need to worry about any of that. Play it back. Hello there, this is Mike Russell and a nice clear boost to my voice. I can trim that in to get rid of my little tut there and fade in at the start. Hello there, this is Mike Russell and I'm doing a second episode already. That sounds really, really good. So you can see how easy it is in just a few simple steps to record a podcast, save a template, come back time and time again and make audio sound great. Final step, go to multi-track, mix down session to new file, entire session and boom your fully produced podcast episode is ready to go obviously you can do edits you can cut out ers ums expletives and stuff like that and then you go to the file menu you can save as and you can save it as an mp3 file right here we can call this podcast 002 maybe strip off the mix down there and save it out and that is now ready Oh, it warns me it's a lossy format. We know that. It's MP3. It's podcast. That's fine. That is now saved and it's ready to upload to my podcast host. I hope you enjoy watching this video. And remember, there are plenty more videos about Adobe Audition on my channel. In fact, one is appearing on the screen right now. Go and watch it.